Welcome back, everybody, to WTL. That's Where's the Line? Nebraska's first and only sports betting show. I'm your host, Andy Class, and joined by Jabron. Oh, <laughs> the Parley Pounder. You got it. We're back. And we also got another guest. Yes. We had to bring on. We had to bring back. We had to. Jeremy Odom. Oh, thank you for having me back. <laughs> yes, Jeremy sir. Of the right way, not the wrong way. The, the right, right way. The right way. TWSN. Sports there you Network. go. You do a whole host of things, though. you also doing some stand-up. Absolutely. Stand-up comedy, um, yep. which you can see me at the Funny Bone Omaha, November 30th. Woo! Write it down, Just folks. We'll be there. Write that down. That sounds good. And you also launched a new podcast. I listened to a couple of them. Just yes. Laugh, right? Yep. Laugh With Me. Laugh With uh, Me. A podcast with Jeremy Odom. Yep. It's out now. It's uh, on Spotify, and it'll be on Apple Music here very shortly. There we go. Very cool. I got a kick. I listened to that first one. You are talking about TIFF. Uh, from Fox News. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's entertaining, folks. You got you to gotta check this stuff out. You got to check this stuff yes, out. Yes, sir. But we're here to talk sports betting. No doubt. So we got to start with Thursday night. Woo! It's right around the corner here. 7.15 kickoff on Amazon. Everyone knows that now. We yeah. know about Amazon now. You got to get that streaming service. The Giants are heading on over to San Francisco. Doesn't always work out for these East Coast teams going out to the West Coast. And the uh, mm. point spread kind of reflects that. San Francisco, a 10-point favorite, total of 44. Jabron, how are you measuring this one up? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, before the season started, everybody could look at this and say these are these were two playoff teams from last year. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. stars across the board, Saquon Barkley, Danny Jones mm-hmm. uh, versus Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey, you right. know, kind of that kind of thing. But the Giants just barely mm. squeaked by the Arizona Cardinals, mm-hmm. uh, probably the worst team in all of football without Kyler have. Murray. Yeah. And, yeah, just squeaked by, and the San Francisco 49ers are the best team in the NFL. I don't care what anybody says to me. I believe they are the best team, especially in the NFC right now, and it's a, it's a well-oiled machine right now. The 10 points isn't enough. If you can get it at 10 right now, mm-hmm. jump on it. These guys are winning by 17 points easily. Yeah, this line's been on the move ever since it opened up, and then now it's up to 10. Uh, what's interesting is the total has gone down. It's yeah. all the way down to 44. Let's see, it opened up at a 43 and a half, um, you know, up and down, that type of deal. Jeremy, where are you at this with this one? Well, I think the total's coming down because the running game is going to be the most yeah. prominent feature in this game. Uh, McCaffrey, obviously, leads the NFL in rushing Woo. with uh, 134 mm-hmm. yards. Um, his over and under I've seen is at eighty four and a half. Yeah, so that's a big one. That mm. might be that might be a special one. Do um, they pull him before he gets there though? Right, <laughs> right. I don't um, know, uh, Jeremy. I, I'm going to work one in on you here. San Francisco, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Brock, the, Brock, yeah, Brock Purdy. Yeah, yeah, no, you know they're pretty good. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that right. Giants D, they they are averaging 136 yeah. and a half yard rushing yards against. Yeah. Um, yeah. Normally, when it's a double digit uh, line, I am going with the underdog. Yeah. Not here. It's the yeah. Niners. Easy. Yeah, I think it's the Niners, Andy. But mm-hmm. one nugget that I really want to point out here is the San Francisco 49ers point total just on their side is at 27.5 points right now. Mm-hmm. The, they're saying that uh, they're not going to get four touchdowns. These guys are getting four touchdowns against oh, yeah. this Giants defense. Yeah, yeah. Over 27.5 points, my best bet of this game. It's hitting no matter what. Give me CMC all day. He's going to score twice. At least twice. He's in there, right? Kittle, is he coming back? Is, Kittle will be there. He's there. Debo will be there. there Ayuk will be there. Yeah. Too many, too Stack many weapons. Up. Saquon's not playing yeah. for the Giants. Their total is just at uh, over under sixteen and a half points. So you can see really where mm. the uh, the books are putting the Giants right now, and it's not very high. So give me everything, Niners. We're all yeah. red on Thursday night. We are all red, and I'm with you, Jeremy. Usually, when I see a double digit like that, especially if we're on the road, you know, mm. an underdog, you mm-hmm. know, you gotta. Uh, in the NFL, but here it's like no, stack it up. It's gonna it's gonna expand. Yeah, get as low as you can. San Francisco is going to clean house. They are. All right, let's move on to a Sunday noon, high noon kickoff. Yeah, Denver is heading on out to the East Coast to take on the Miami Dolphins. Miami, a six and a <clears throat> half point favorite. This opened up at five and a half, and of course, mm-hmm. you know, after the performances of these two teams first couple of weeks, people are so <coughs> high on Miami. Yeah. I get it, I get it. And the coach, he's a cool dude. You know, he wears glasses and he does the, uh, what are those called, the little smoking deal, but it's not smoking. It's a vape. He vapes on the sideline. <laughs> that's, that's pretty okay. cool. He's the coolest coach he's in the NFL. He's pretty cool, you guys. <laughs> he is the coolest so coach in the NFL. maybe that validates this almost a touchdown point spread. Jeremy, what are you seeing on this one? 
I mean, you can look at the passing game on mm -hmm. Miami and mm -hmm. see where this game's going, right? Six yeah. and a half may not be enough. Yeah. No, I, I really don't think it is. And yeah, I think Denver's looking, you know, into the past a little bit with Tyreek Hill coming back into town. And uh, yeah, this is going to be double digit win mm -hmm. by the Miami Dolphins. The, I was just talking about the Cardinals in. Uh, uh, in the Giants, Giants. maybe being the worst team in the league, but the Denver Broncos, Denver Broncos. are definitely right oh. there as they lost to the Raiders in the Commanders at home yeah. with their brand new shiny coach mm -hmm. about you know putting all these points up on the board and all that kind of stuff. We have the defense to beat all these teams. Now we have the offensive piece. I haven't seen it. Raiders are very average, and the Commanders are <laughs> under average. So, uh, no, under I have average. no wow. faith in the Denver Broncos in this one. Yeah. Six and a half is drooling right now because yeah. if you can get that under touchdown hook yeah dolphins all you're, day you're off that key i love number. it i love yeah. it all the way up to seven because i believe it will be more than that so give me the dolphins give me the fins give me tyreek give me jalen waddle yeah i'm on top of that too and you know uh this is another point spread our total yeah the over under is actually moving down it's all the way down to 48 and a half a lot of folks got <clears> it at 49 and a half yeah saying this should still be good all the way down to 47 and, and that's kind of interesting when you're thinking someone's going to win by over a touchdown yeah it really is andy and i, I I'm kind of leaning the other way on this. I really mm. think this will smack the over a little okay. bit because right. I think the Dolphins will get out to a little bit of a lead here, and then Denver will put some points up. I believe mm. that Miami will put 30 points on this no matter what. So wow, I have this going over just because I think the Broncos can muster you know 17 points up against this Dolphins defense. So I just think the Dolphins are going to score way, way more. And mm. Russell Wilson showed flashes last yeah. week. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there could be some yeah. touchdowns to get there that we haven't seen out of him in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. But Too when big. you've got the MVP favorite right now in yeah. Tua, yeah. the yeah, quarterback yeah, yeah. from Miami, yep. I mean, they're going to take yeah. advantage of that 21st uh, passing defense in Denver. So For yeah. sure, for and, sure. And Tyreek is not lying about this. He's trying to go for 2,000 yards yep. and mm -hmm. and. Getting a touchdown every week is his other goal, so uh, he's going to keep doing that. And there's nobody on Denver that can even come close to Cheetah. So give me Dolphins, six and a half, easy money. Yeah, and I saw that, Jeremy, you're referencing the new MVP um, odds, and I believe Tua was at about a plus 550 across yeah. the books there, yeah. uh, kind of out in front as the overall favorite to win the MVP. And Denver might be able to sneak in that late score for you. They completed a Hail Mary yeah. last week. And still lost. Yeah, Russ, and still lost. <laughs> Russ is really good at getting lucky sometimes. <laughs> yes, but, he is. Uh, it still wasn't on? enough for the Denver Broncos. All righty, let's move on to a three twenty-five kickoff on yeah. Fox. Oh, my Chicago Bears are dun, heading dun, dun. to Arrowhead to take on the Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs, and this is another. Oh, this is a big line here. A uh, minus twelve and a half, twelve and a half mm. point favorites are the Chiefs. Uh, Jeremy, how are you measuring this one up? Like I was saying before, anytime you've got a double-digit underdog, I'm all in, right? Yeah. But mm. Chicago Bears, <laughs> look what you made me do. Your yeah. defensive coordinator just quit. Yep. Justin Fields is blaming coaching for how he's performing. Yep. Uh. They look lost. The Chiefs need a get-back game. They're at home. This is it. Yeah, I really think so too. The Chiefs are still not what they need to be right. in the in the eyes of everybody as well. Yep. So this yeah. is a good tune up game for them as well. Gosh. The other thing that I look at when I look at this game is the Bears have failed to cover nine of their last eleven games as double digit underdogs. Scoring in the NFL is hard, Jared. That, that is so crazy <laughs> that you can be a double digit underdog and only cover <laughs> twice. That is absolutely horrible. Just like he said, with the Bears in shambles right now, there is no way that they come out with any pop in this game. Yeah. Kelsey is going to get right in this game, probably score at least two touchdowns. Mahomes is going deep to those new receivers as well. You saw Sky Moore pop off in this last game. Yeah. It's going to be a lot more of that. And I think they get the run game going a little bit more mm -hmm. with Pacheco as well against this, uh, I would say, struggling Bears defense. Ooh, they are struggling. That's a, that's a <laughs> word that you could use. Uh, I just find it so fascinating. And people that listen during the summer when we're doing all the projections yeah. and the futures and stuff, I've, I've never been high on Justin Fields. No, I was always haven't. hopeful, uh, but I couldn't believe when he was getting that buzz as far as being a— MVP talk. Yeah, get out of here. And, and I'm just thinking, like, he's just a carbon copy of, like, Mitchell Trubisky, you yeah. know, and that's yep. that's what he's showing right now. Yeah, and, Dwayne Haskins, 2.0. 
And oh man, I was listening to some podcasts, reading some articles on him, how he's really predictable. And last week he actually had some pretty good protection and yeah. he would still take off, wouldn't go through his progressions and just run into the back of his offensive line. So uh, Justin Fields needs to figure it out and maybe, you know, take a little bit on himself here, put some on his own shoulders exactly. rather than blame coaches or, you know, make him feel bad and make him quit. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. No, it, it is really bad when, you know, you think that a guy's got a worse draw, you know, coming into the Chicago area with not a lot of playmakers and everything. But when yeah. they put stuff around you, like DJ Moore, like Chase Claypool, yeah. uh, bringing in the running back as well, you have to be able to own up to it and say it's on me, and uh, especially as a pro, and he hasn't done that yet. No, not at all. Any final thoughts, uh, Jeremy? Uh, this was set at 40. The total right now is 47.5, and, and that's another one that's been moving down, which, once again, is just very curious when you have <laughs> such an inflated point spread, but the total keeps coming down. Yeah, this game, I mean, just with the way the Chicago Bears are setting up here, uh, this one yeah. has under all over it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it should be easy money for anybody betting the, the Chiefs this week. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think the, I think the under is the best bet here. I it really is, do. because I, I really, Andy Reid's not one of those guys that pours it on nope. either. So, like, it, even though the Bears rank 32nd in the NFL in points allowed at 28 points per game, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do see this one going under as well just because uh, they're going to hit the help button pretty quick. Yeah. I, I think the Chiefs pack this in by halftime. Uh, you see Chad Henney or Chase Daniel or whoever is Patrick yeah. Mahomes back up at 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 this point yeah. playing in the second half. Well, the so. Chiefs will be desperate to get Kelsey off the field. Exactly. I mean, he's not healthy yeah. still. So. Exactly. So, And they've they've kind of made that a, a theme of theirs last couple of seasons, just sit on the football after yeah. we get a couple of scores. No doubt. They're, they're fine. And then they got Mahomes in their back pocket if something crazy were to happen. Right. Yep. So I'm, I'm on board with you guys. I agree. Let's take a minute to recognize one of our fabulous partners, and that is the Nebraska Brewing Company. We're enjoying one of their new IPA series releases. That is Mango Unchained. You guessed it. That's a mango IPA. Tastes pretty good, doesn't it, Jeremy? It does. You know what? I like my mangoes unchained versus chained <laughs> oh, on yeah. the vine. Yeah. Always about you better guys. unchained. That, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how those guys do it over there at NBC Nebraska Brewing right. Company. World class in every glass. Don't go anywhere, folks. This is WTL.